we very much underestimate what vision means to all of us till we unfortunately have that important sense very much affected. Primarily because the Stargardt's disease is a disease that affects early on, especially children 10 to 15 years of age. I find it extremely hard to communicate that to the patients and family, um, but also I find it hard to not have treatment options and say that, yes, we can offer visual aids, but currently we don't have treatments available. Ocu410 SD, I think, is quite promising with its early um, safety and efficacy results at six months. Patients are having stabilization of their visual function or improvement. We're seeing that 80% um, of the treated eyes have a preservation of macular volume and about 60% of treated eyes have preservation of their retinal thickness. For our Stargard patients, they are most certainly giving them hope for future therapy, but most certainly us as well as um, physicians taking care of these patients. I, I would say the unique mechanism of action of OQ410 is really um, promising because of this gene agnostic approach. The Stargardt's disease, while it is genetically linked to one specific you know, genetic defect, it is still quite complex. But having a gene agnostic approach where we are now creating a healthy environment for that entire um, gene, we could very much solve the problem for the patients. I think in hindsight, it's a bit easier to point it out. Uh, when I was very young, I always had kind of problems noticing things. So when something like Stargardt's comes in, it, it's a heavy diagnosis, you know? I started failing eye tests, and that kind of like started the concern of, oh, what's happening with my vision? Family then asked, what did that mean? And the last thing we were kind of told was, you could go blind in 10 to 15 years. You kind of just have to accept that you don't know when all of a sudden your star guards could accelerate, when you could go from visually impaired to legally blind. The first thing that kind of came around is my mother spotted it, sent it over my way. Uh, of course, always a bit skeptical because there's a lot of treatments that are thrown out there. Uh, but after kind of reading through at least how the trial was structured. You know, gene therapy has always been something that has seemed very promising. The idea that it was a one-time uh, treatment, I've noticed my right eye has progressively gotten worse and worse and worse this year. Uh, at least for my vision getting worse, this has been kind of a bad year for me. But in my left eye, um, it stayed consistent and improved. And that's the, the treated eye. It's easier to see. It gives me a bit more confidence and keeping what vision I do have uh, gives me much more room to build the world in a way that works well for me. When you can offer a clinical trial that now shows promise and has not only you know great safety but promising efficacy and where we are potentially saving and improving vision, it is really um, exciting to be able to share that with a family and offer them hope and future